What's up, Cal Gang? Welcome back to Dynamics. So let's solve this problem. So we're given that we need to throw a basketball at 30 degrees, and we're given that it needs to go 10 meters horizontally and uh, up 1.5 meters vertically, right? So shooting a basketball at 30 degrees is a pretty steep angle. Usually I'm pretty sure it's not quite that, that sharp of a downward angle. But anyway, we need to find out how hard we need to throw the basketball, or basically what initial velocity we need to throw the ball to do that. So let's solve that, right? So let's, let's, when you're solving one of these kinematics problems, right, we're using, you know, kinematics on Earth, let's write out everything we know. So that's starting with why not, right? That's the initial height it's referred at. That's 1.5 meters, right? Then why final, that's the uh, height that it needs to end at, that's going to be 3 meters. So then x naught, that's obviously 0 meters, we're starting at the origin. Or not the origin, but we're starting at x is equal to 0. And then x final is the x that we need to finish at. That's going to be 10 meters. Right. So we know gravity, of course, it's negative 9.81 meters per second squared. So then what else is important, right? Well, how about the individual components of the velocity, right? How about velocity in the x direction, velocity in the y direction, right? So velocity in the x direction, well, we're looking at this, and it's going to need to be this part. So we're going to use cosine to lay it flat. So it's going to be VA cosine of 30 degrees. And VA cosine of 30 degrees is going to be the same as square root of 3 over 2 uh, VA. So then the Y is going to be VA sine of 30 degrees, which is just going to be 1 half VA. Okay, so now we have all of these things written out. All we have to do is solve using the kinematics problems. So there's going to be two approaches we need to solve this problem. We're going to need to find uh, the x component and the y component of its velocity and to solve for velocity A because we're not going to know two things. We're going to have two unknowns, time and velocity. So we're going to need to write two equations to solve for both of them. So let's start with the horizontal equation, all right? Uh, let's see how long it takes. So let's start out with this equation. Uh, delta x is equal to velocity x times time plus one half acceleration times squared. So in the x direction, there's not going to be any acceleration, right? If we're just looking at a, uh, the ball moving in the x direction, it's not going to accelerate or decelerate. So a is going to be equal to zero. And delta x is just going to be x final minus x initial. We know x initial is zero. So we know it's going to be 10 is equal to velocity a, because velocity x is equal to velocity a times square root of 3 over 2, we need time. So now looking at this equation, we have these two unknowns, velocity and time. So of course we can't solve it yet. So we need to write another equation. So let's go to the vertical direction, right? Let's go to delta y. This is equal to velocity y times time plus 1 half gravity times squared. So we know delta y, right? y final minus y initial, 3 minus 1.5, so we're just going to get 1.5 here. Velocity y, we said, is 1 half velocity a. So 1 half velocity a time plus 1 half. Uh, let's just plug in gravity here instead. So gravity is negative 9.81, so we're going to have negative 9.81 divided by 2, which is going to be negative 4.905 t squared. So once again, we have an equation with t and v a, so two unknowns. But we have two equations with these two unknowns, so we can solve for them. So let's try to cancel time, right? Let's try to get rid of time, because we're solving for v a. So we don't need to solve for time, let's just find v a. That means we're going to need to, let's, let's load it back to the our horizontal position equation, right? Our goal, I'm stuck. OK, our goal is to get rid of time. So let's write this equation in terms of time. So let's move this over. We're going to get 20 over square root of 3 VA is equal to T. And then I think I went a step further to get that this is equal to 11. Uh, where did I write this? I lost it. 11.55 divided by VA. So we're here. We want to plug this in here. So going back, let's just plug in any time you see time with this. So we're going to get 1.5 is equal to 1 half VA and then 11.55 over VA. So these VAs are going to cancel conveniently. 
And then we're going to have to subtract 4.905 from 11.55 over BA and keep that squared. So now we just have one equation with one unknown, so we can solve this pretty easily. So let's go ahead and move on. Um, I'm going to have to keep track of my numbers pretty well. So this is going to be 1.5 is equal to this. The BA is canceled, so it's 11.55 divided by 2. This is 5.77 minus uh, 4.905. Uh, times, and let's see, 133.40 over BA squared, right? I just distributed that squared. So now I'm pretty sure you guys can solve this from here, so I'm just going to sit the steps, right? You're going to subtract, you're going to divide, you're going to uh, divide and take the inverse and square root, and all you're going to be left with is BA is equal to 12.4 meters per second. And there we go, so that's how you solve this problem. Right? It's not too tricky, it's just about knowing how to set up that system of equations. And I really recommend with any kinematics problem, you write out everything you know at the beginning of the problem. It's going to make it really easy just to plug in numbers as you move along with those kinematics equations. So if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to check out my playlist or ask in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.